It's the midweek chat, baby. Welcome to Straight Up Tennessee. It's your boy, Ruck. I'm Turner. Y'all, midweek chat, man. LSU week. Man, yesterday, I, man, we had a good conversation yesterday with Nick. Uh, just figuring out, man, who is LSU. But now it's the boys. We back. We get to chop it up about what we think for real, for real, about this week. We'll talk about some updates from Jalen Hyatt, Joey Hosley, Byron Young. Hey, y'all, it's Wednesday. Let's go. Go. Hey man, so listen, we only a few days. I mean, I guess you can say 72 hours away, right? Hey, for sure. For sure. <sighs> Bro, nothing feels better than knowing we got a game <clears throat> Saturday. Like, for, for sure. It's, it's been a long time, bro. It feels like, like I said, I said this yesterday, but bro, like it legitimately feels like it's been a month, but it's literally been a solid 14 days. I know. And we, it's funny. We both said like, you know, it's, it's not, it's going to be nice just to sit there and watch some college football this weekend. I, I texted you at nine o'clock that morning. I was like, man, this don't feel right. <laughs> it didn't, <laughs> it didn't feel right, bro. At all. Um, but it showed us this week, man, Tennessee LSU, 11 a.m. Central time, um, 11 a.m. kick in Baton Rouge, 12 Eastern for all of my East Coast folks. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of things I'm excited about for this football game. Um, most importantly, man, I'm excited to see Hendon, Hendon Hooker continue this, what some are calling this Heisman journey and uh for real it's and it's it's so weird to hear you know not just hinting and hinting hooker for high and heisman journey but <clears throat> i read an article day and i don't know it, it, it's i don't want to overhype tennessee at all but it's it's nice that you've got people saying like the headline of the article was tennessee a true contender for the sec east this year yeah i mean i don't want to overhype it but When's the last time somebody talked about Tennessee being a contender for the SEC East? It's been a long, long I mean, time. I mean, I guess, bro, was the last – tell me if I'm right. The last time Tennessee went to the SEC championship, we played LSU in 08, right? Jonathan did we? Compton. Was it? We I lost. Think... We lost. I, I uh -huh. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it was 2008. Crompton was there. We lost. We wore all orange. I can. I mean, I vividly remember that. I think. Dang. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. We wore all orange. We wore them orange britches. We played in the Georgia Dome, and we lost. Well, I, I'm pretty sure it was 2008. I gotta bring. I gotta see. When was the last time? Tennessee went to SEC championship. We won the 97 and 98. 2007, Tennessee and plays LSU. We lost by a <laughs> touchdown. I knew I see, it. I see it right here. Yeah. We went 2001, 2004, and 2007. You know, I, I was listening to the Swain event yesterday. And he had Gerald Riggs Jr. I don't know if you remember Gerald Riggs. Yeah, I do. Riggs was in the Heisman talks back when he was at Tennessee. He was a monster. But Swain was talking about it, and Jason Swain was on that team. I think it was 2006, 2005, yeah. 2006, when we went to LSU. It was 2005. Had to be after mm -hmm. Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, it was. And uh, we played them in 2005. We traveled – that game got pushed to a Monday night. Mm -hmm. We traveled on a Monday, played on a Monday, and went back home on a Monday. <laughs> it 
and Rick Clausen saved the day that day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gerald Riggs Jr. We we went to overtime and Gerald Riggs, Gerald Riggs Jr. punched it in and we won that game. That's the last time Tennessee has beaten LSU. And now, man, it's it. We have the Tennessee has the most opportune time to. For sure. Finish, finish ironing out what we need to iron out because we know what's happening next weekend. You know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. um, man, LSU is going to fight, bro. I I really think so. You know, Mm -hmm. I think they're going to fight, but I also think we're we're just a little too much, man. I'm with you on that. And Hey, this, I know they announced it. This game sold out too. Sold out. A noon game. Yep. Third yep. third game third game in a row for UT, right? Third game in a row, man. Tennessee, I, I saw something uh it said that the allotment of 5,000 that LSU gave us, we all we bought them all. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So, right. it's going to be a bunch of orange up in that thing. And I think out of the 5,000, I I'm I can probably tell you 10 to 15 is going to be Tennessee. Oh, team. and yeah, and they'll be spread out all through that place. It ain't going to yeah. be just one section. Yeah, so we're going to see 10, 15,000 big orange fans, and uh, we're going to need it, man. I, I know it's 11 a.m., and it plays into our favor with it being early, but, man, it's still it's still a road game in the SEC, bro. I mean, we got to play. Yeah. Um, Something that was a cool stat I, I found out today, actually, uh, is that LSU has not allowed one person to rush over 100 yards on them yet. Really? Not yet. Key word. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> they gotta come. They gotta account for Hendon. Um, dude, this actually leads perfectly into kind of what we need to talk about, anyways. But they gotta account for Hendon. They gotta account for Bari and Jay Wright. But mm-hmm. talking about Hendon, man, Joey Hosley had an amazing uh, presser today. I watched and that one. I didn't even get to watch the entire thing. Um, he had a. He, he it was actually yesterday, but mm-hmm. um. I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but one thing that I loved when he said was like, he had, he basically said Hendon was a dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically, dude, Jason mm-hmm. Swain, Jason Swain explained it perfectly yesterday on the Josh Swain show. He said, it's like, it's like me walking my Doberman. I got it. I got to tell you this whole story because it's dope. He said, <laughs> it's like me walking my Doberman. When we walk in the, I walk my dog up in my neighborhood and he be barking at people. Like, yeah, he he honestly be getting a little angry at people. And it's up to me. Am I going to tell him, stop, stop that. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Or am I going to let my dog be a dog and let him bark? <laughs> he said, I'm telling you, that's what Hendon is. Are we going to tell Hendon? Nah, man, no, no, no. That wide open lane right there. Nah, don't run. Don't run. Are yeah. we going to let the dog bark? And I said, I said, ooh, <laughs> we. That's it right there, bro. Absolutely. So, yeah. Hendon, man, <sighs> Hendon Hooker is playing out of his mind, bro. Ah, uh, dude, it's it's. And Hazel said in his thing today, he said like it's somebody they one of the interviews asked him like, is there a big difference? do you see a big difference in Hendon last year and this year? And he was like, oh, it's a nine day difference. And he said it started as soon as the season was over last year. He yeah. said this man puts in more work than anybody he's ever seen. And he said if anybody deserves it, Hendon Hooker deserves it. And that and, and it and he, shows. It does. And then he also said, like, you know, Hendon at first wasn't the most vocal leader, but when you put in that much work, watch that much film and take it so seriously you know your team catches on to that and you might not be a vocal leader leader at first that'll come yep but your teammates see you doing that and they're like oh he's he's a leader like you know what i mean yep but i think i think he's got vocal if you want my honest opinion oh yeah you hear him man you hey all the little weekly videos that tennessee posts now and they got some of the intros of the game. You're like, hey, man, this about us, man. Mm-hmm. I, man, we fight for your brother, man. You fight for your brother. Uh-huh. I'll be like, yeah, you fight for your brother. Let's go. 
Yeah, and I think Hazel said it well in his interview. He he literally said that he said Hendon Hooker makes a couple plays a game where you just kind of like go, wow. <laughs> yep, that's true, man. And um, it, it's just important for Tennessee to continue to keep him healthy. Um, so I get the the awareness to say, hey, do you let him then do what he does? But again, bro, you got to let the dog bark and mm-hmm. you got to let him do his thing. Because I don't feel like Hendon, Hendon Hooker, and you say this every game, Turner, and I'm starting to believe it a little bit now. At first, when you were first telling me this, I was like, yeah, I guess. But you always said, bro, after Hendon gets that one run and he gets hit a little bit, like not like a not like, oh, he got laid out, but like mm-hmm. he got some contact. He lost. Yes, bro. That's why I've told I've told you since Ball State, this man, if he he started off good against Florida, yeah. but for, for this man to get broke in. You got to get him out of the pocket. Let him get that one decent run. He's like, oh, yeah. okay. I'm, yep. I'm, I got my feet under me. I'm I'm locked in now. Yep. And I'm pretty sure. I mean, the Florida game, dude, like, <clears throat> I, I again, dude, you just got to thank our coaching staff, bro. Josh Heupel, look, the way him and Alex Golish, first of all, how they feed off of each other and play calm, mm-hmm. and then how they, bro, I haven't seen yet, and I don't, and Lord willing, we don't see it this week. I haven't seen them make an adjustment that was wrong all year. Mm. Bro, No, they come back out at halftime, and I'm like, how are they getting better? Like, yeah. they just getting better because, dude, from batter vol syndrome, every time we go into halftime winning, I'm just like, oh, God. Here we go. Here, Here we, we go, go again. We're going we gonna to blow this one. But, bro, with these guys, it's different, bro. They scheme it up so perfect that, like, we literally, bro, and let's talk about it. Florida's defense – Florida is still Florida, okay? They don't have depth. And I'm going to tell you this, neither does LSU. They don't have any depth. And so – the thing in the SEC is the deeper you are, the more guys and bodies you play, mm-hmm. e- eventually your defense is going to be better. That's what we are reaping currently. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? I we're agree. deep. And so we're able to rotate. LSU doesn't have that. Florida didn't have that. And that is why with this tempo, we got guys. I mean, dude, Turner, there were guys hinting. Honestly, he missed a couple of plays when dudes were running wide open, but we still had dudes running wide open and we're hitting them. Well, see, I mean, that's the thing too. I mean, hop hop says it in his press conference almost every week. He said, we're going to put those guys in positions to make plays. And it, it, he says it's on them to do it. Yeah. But, and it's, it's so true. I mean, you hear coaches say that all the time. But, like, it's a true, like, testimony of Hopple and Golish's offense. I mean, look at last year. Yeah. I mean, Hendon Hooker comes in has an amazing year because Josh Hopple gets dudes open. He does, bro. Dudes running I mean, wide open. Down. Like, it, it, it's the pre-snap motions, like, and they're not even, like, huge it's, it, motion. It's just – No. It's like the – I mean – the scheme of it is just unbelievable when you go back and watch. It's like the the wheel the wheel route, Jacob Warren last game. Oh ain't, my God. ain't nobody around him, bro. Not one person. I mean, and that's the thing about it, bro. Like we're not like it just it blows my mind sometimes about how like how open some of these dudes are that we're hit, like we're hitting. Like wide there's open. wide open, like nobody 10 yards around it. I'm like Josh Hopple out of goals because I mean it's like man it, these DBs are getting lost. Yeah. Speaking speaking of DBs, I did not know that LSU's whole secondary is all transfers. I didn't know that. Uh, cornerbacks. Let's see here. I I literally the secondary includes four transfers. I uh, see this. Cody Richardson from McNeese State. Mm-hmm. Jay Bernard Converse from Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. Greg Greg Brooks was at Arkansas, and uh, Joe Foucha. He was at Arkansas. Is too. Also from Arkansas. Yeah. 
Unbelievable. It's crazy, bro. Unbelievable. Well, it's time to eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. I heard that it's time to eat them up. Uh, great, man. I'm glad that they're, I'm, hey, amazing. Again, bro. Again, all we got to do is stop Jaden Daniels. That's it. That's make it. make him beat literally. I know we said this against Florida, man. Make him beat you throwing the football. Yeah. Make him beat you. And if he does that, amazing. Great. You deserve it, bro. But yeah. Um I I just don't I don't see t- I don't, Tennessee can't okay. Let me say this. Tennessee can lose this game. Right? Mm-hmm. They can. Yeah. They can. But something absolutely wild has to happen. I think here's, and this is the honest truth, bro. Tennessee has to not score on like half of their drives yeah. to not to not win this game. And I yeah. don't see that happening, bro. I think I think after this bye week, bro, these dudes are hungry. And bro, let's just not be. I mean, like let's be reminded of the of what we rocking them smoky dokies. You heard how about me? how about that on the road. We're in the Smokies, bro. There's a different energy gonna be in that thing. Bro. Yeah, Tennessee yeah. gonna be locked in. They gonna be locked. So, I mean, I- I'm still looking forward to just seeing them play. I think that there's gonna be a lot of different scenarios where um, Hendon Hooker is gonna have to make plays. I think we're gonna have opportunities for our running backs to make some big plays as well. I think we're also going to have a lot of opportunity, a lot of opportunity for Brew and Ramel to mm. on the outsides to stretch the field yeah. because those corners, man, they're not tall. They're not tall. No. Um, no. Yeah. Man, this has this is kind of off topic, but University of Tennessee, please, it would be amazing if you would – Update your depth chart. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> please, <laughs> please. I get it. I get it. But you still they got ain't Warren. going to. You got Warren Burrell starting corner because I noticed on the depth chart you got Warren Burrell on one side, and then you got Kamal Haddon or Christian Charles on the other side. Yeah. So it's like you looking at that. Is it going to be Kamal and D? Ah. Uh... They need to fix that, bro. Put it put it that way. Until yeah. they fix that, I'm not looking at it ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We both text each other and it's like, uh, nothing has changed. Nothing. Something, sh- something should have changed. Exactly. Nothing has changed, bro. So, I mean, this is the – bro, this game is, is so interesting. Um, there's so many scenarios, so many things that could happen. I just don't see it happening, man. I, I'm sticking with my 4117, I think. And it's Wednesday. So yeah, I get it. It's Wednesday. But man, 4117 feels right. Yeah, it does. I'm with you on that. Um I'm gonna stick to my 38 21. What you putting on the smoker this weekend? Ribs. Oh, <laughs> baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. Hey, boy, what you, boy? <laughs> I wish I was in Knoxville, Tennessee. I pull up. Hitting that meat church recipe. You feel me? Yes, you are. Did you end <laughs> up getting you some meat church seasonings? I'm about to go. I don't, maybe tomorrow I might go to Academy. Yeah, boy, get you some of that hot honey hog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> or that honey hog, whatever, man. But whatever it is. This is a good game. Um I, I want to talk about this, bro, as we kind of wrap this one up, man. It's the midweek chat. We just hopping on here, man, to continue to push content. Like this video, comment, Please. man, subscribe to the channel, man. Follow us on Instagram at straight up Tennessee. Y'all, I ain't even told, I ain't even told Turner this, but we we working on a little merch real quick. 
I don't even know about this. He don't even know for <laughs> real. This is this is live on Straight Up Tennessee on Wednesday midweek chat. Hey, if you listening and you you into and you want to get a little Straight Up Tennessee pullover, little 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 crew neck, little hoodie on the front of it, that joint gonna have just a regular logo on the back and this dope little sick, this dope font and say, it's straight up Tennessee, mm-hmm. baby. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be clean. Mm-hmm. And uh, we working on something. We working on something a little slight. Okay, um, okay, okay. But yeah, that, that'll be hopefully on the channel. We'll push some stuff out on that. But man, one thing that we're actually gonna start doing y'all is on Friday mornings, Um, obviously we're going to have our one more day episode, so you'll still get the one more day episode, but we will also post on our page, uh, just kind of a little interactive thing, man, where it's like our score prediction thing. We're going to literally, we got content made for it. You'll be able to literally hold your screen, screenshot that thing, share it out on your own page, tag us in it. Let us know, man, we'll repost you. Um, and just put your score prediction in the boxes on that thing. It's a really dope little thing we're going to start doing just to keep it interactive, man, and keep it fun. So, yeah, for sure. Um, you already heard our prediction 41 17 is Ruck. Turner says 38 um, 21. Turner, bro, let's go even further. Okay. And uh, we'll put like a burger or something on it. I don't know. Because okay. next week at Alabama, I'm going to have me a couple burgers. <laughs> hey. I'm going to have me a couple, couple hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> you, found, you found me at the tailgate. Hey, I'm going to be there. Knoxville don't be turned up. Yeah. Hey, and here's the thing. I'm going to tell you this. I think even if we even if we somehow lose to LSU, it's going to be up for Bama. It's still going to be up. It's going to be up because we're going to be so frustrated and oh. ready to come play some football. We might mess around if we lose to LSU. We might mess around if we win, too. I ain't this. <laughs> Y'all see the – stay quiet now. But listen, bro, take it even a step further. Like I said, we'll put a burger, hot dog, or something on this. Who scores the first touchdown for Tennessee Saturday? Indian hooker. Zone read. You think we get to the – you think it's like a we're on the red zone? Yeah, we're in the red zone. We're on about the two. We're gonna have a big we're gonna have a I think we're gonna have a big play. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna get a somebody's gonna get a big play, get taken yeah. down, get taken down in inside the five. Okay. And I think you th- you either gonna see a zone read, Hendon, or the speed option. Got it. Man, I'ma say uh I'ma take your approach, but a little different. I'm gonna take the same thing. Big play yeah. somewhere, somewhere around the 45 to Somewhere on the opponent's 45 and our 45, in between that that range. And uh, Jalen Hyatt, he do something big. He take that joint to the crib, first play. So, I, the, I'm, I'm going to stick with that. But here's a close second, okay? Yeah. You said Jalen Hyatt. The close second is Jalen Hyatt scoring the first touchdown. Yeah. You know, on a 40-plus yard screen. Just oh, quick screen. A screen. Oh my gosh. Just a quick Bro. screen. He uh, he puts he, the, just he gonna, puts the, he gonna get loose. Yep. Yep. Sheesh. I see something like a I see I see it where the first drive is scripted and it's always scripted, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's something like that that third or fourth play we we've got on plus field, like I'm telling you, 45, 45, somewhere in around there. Mm-hmm. And uh it's been that it's the option play. It's like, hey, if the drive's been good, we are gonna call what we've been thinking. Or it's yeah. like, even if the drive isn't good, we got another play that now that we're in the flow, we can see, and it's gonna yeah. be high. I think high. But I still think, hey, now I'll tell you this: I think Hyatt catches the first football of the game. Period. I can see that. He's the first look, bro, because he just he just gets open. His routes are so good. His mm-hmm. routes are so good. But man, I think I think Ramel Keaton needs a big day. I think Jalen, I think this is Jalen Hyatt's coming out party, though. You think it's Jalen Hyatt's day? He I had see, a huge I game see. against Akron, but this is his time, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. And Dude, that's who last, I that's who I said is gonna have a breakout game anyway. Yeah, you did. Bro, last thing, bro, before we wrap up this episode, man, the midweek chat. 
I was watching Jalen Hyatt's uh, presser yesterday, and he was just talking about, again, just the same things. And they asked him a question about Hendon Hooker, and he was just saying, man, I love, I love Hendon. Like, I don't know if y'all remember this, and I'm talking as if I'm Jalen Hyatt. He said, man, I don't know if y'all remember this, but I was committed to Virginia Tech before I decommitted and then committed to Tennessee. And yeah. Hendon, Hendon was at Virginia Tech when yeah. I committed. And yeah. so, like, me and Hendon, because how he said it was, me and Hendon go way back. Like, not just from being here at Tennessee. Like, I was committed to Virginia Tech, yeah. decommitted, and came to Tennessee. He said, so, like, I mean, me and, me and Hendon, man, he's been my big brother for a long time. And now, he said, everything I do on that field, he's like, if Hendon throw me the ball, like, I'm catching it for him because I know what, what we've both been through. I know yeah. what he's working on. And all I want to do is honor him and catch everything. He's like, man, if the ball is uncatchable, like I'm going to make a play on it because that's my brother and I want to make a play for him. And I'm like, yeah, bro. And you gotta, you gotta have that, bro. That that's, that's awesome. I'm like, bro, that is what we have that no other university in the country has. We got a brotherhood and it's different right now on Rocky top y'all midweek chat. It's Wednesday, man. I hope whenever you're listening to this, man, you could be listening to it 6 a.m. You could be listening to it on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whenever you're listening to this, man, I want you to know one thing. Go win your day, man. Have a great day. But you already know what it is. It's straight up Tennessee. And we thank you for joining us on this episode. Um, It's our midweek chat LSU edition, man. Turner, any last thoughts, baby? Hey, we're back on Friday for our one more day episode man where we'll dive into a few little things before it's game time in baton rouge bro anything you got i'm good man hey y'all for my dog turner you already know it's your boy ruck we'll see you back friday morning man it's straight up tennessee baby we gone